Here we go guys, day one. Pulling out the trailer from the garage for the very first time. Now the first time we did this, we were pulling out equipment from the back of the hatchback. We pulled the engine off the back of the, the car. We pulled the hoses over our shoulder and it was tough. So after that first job, I said, no way, I cannot work like that. So I decided to get this trailer. It was only $550 on Facebook Marketplace. It was small enough, a four by eight, that my Honda CRV can tow it. Now these reels were probably the most expensive part I bought. They're Titan stainless steel hose reels. But these are the best you're ever gonna need. I only wanted to buy it once. They will stay with me for a long time. Here we go, gearing up Sunday morning, getting ready to pull this to the first house. It was only about 15 minutes away from where I live. This is gonna be a test of what 200 feet really looks like. This hose I purchased on toolbarn.com. It was on sale, $100 for 100 feet. It came with the connections on both ends. This customer wanted us to do the back of the house, her patio area, um, actually the patio furniture and her driveway. So we pulled the hoses to the back, started in the back of the furniture. We would never be able to do this with the original setup. Handed off the hose. Here's the before. Here's the table. We're gonna make this look good. I apologize, I did not realize I was zoomed in on my camera when I started to record this. This is me starting up the engine, making sure that there's no leaks before it gets started. There are some minor ones, but nothing to stop the job. Just something to need up to um, fix later after we're done. A couple of connections needed to be tightened. This was more than enough hose. I don't even think that was a hundred feet to get to the back of the house. So here we are starting with the patio furniture. Soaping everything down. This ball valve, it looks like a DN10, but is a brand called Mingle. I like it, it looks really cool, it has a little stainless steel knob on it, however it broke on the very first use, I had to stop using it halfway through the job. Good thing I got it on Amazon, they will take back anything and replace it or refund your money. Now we're just making sure we hose down any plants that might have gotten overspray on them. You don't want to kill any plants. This was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. Couldn't ask for a better day. Now this is the turbo nozzle. A lot of people say they don't like it. Um, that it can cause a lot of damage. However, I find it very practical to use in a lot of applications and situations. I started off pretty far away from the things I was shooting with it just because I had not cleaned this type of material before. I didn't want to blow a hole through it. So it was getting clean enough and I started getting closer and closer with the nozzle tip and I got more comfortable using it and it did make things even cleaner. This is a great job guys, it is so relaxing being outdoors. I love being out in the sun. I don't mind the hot weather. I found something I really enjoy doing. Now we just gotta work on that belly. Look at that belly, guys. 
They have not been in the gym in like two years. That's gonna change. Here we go. The after picks. Now starting on the walkway. There's a lot of leaves. There's houses covered by some trees that were just shedding constantly. Leaves were falling back onto the concrete as I was clearing it away. As soon as I was done, they came right back. Got as much as I could out of the way. That is not a stain there. That is paint that has been removed. It's missing. It started to peel, exposing the concrete underneath. The homeowner expressed the concern of not having her paint removed while we pressure wash. So I decided not to use the surface cleaner and instead just treat it with a good mix of solution and sort of soft wash it and see how it comes out. I love this Flexilla hose. The color is such an amazing color. All right, here is the walkway to the front door before we got started. This area does not get a lot of sunlight. Mold and algae grows very easily. Try to grab some before pictures. I was so focused on getting the job done right that it was really difficult to also focus on getting great footage. This was being recorded from my phone, which was strapped to my head, so it also looked like an idiot. So I decided to downstream it just to see what would be removed with this easy method before I pull out the soft wash hose and wand. Like I said, I didn't want to use the surface cleaner on it. If this was my property, I would have just used the surface cleaner, but it's not, and I did not want to remove the paint. So I told the customer we would first spray it down and give it a soft wash and see if that was good enough before we decided to do any next steps. Making sure to get those corners, staying away from the grass. You guys cannot, probably don't hear the engine, but it was very loud and I often wonder what the neighbors think if they're annoyed by me being there. All right, here's a couple of minutes in. It starts to loosen up, soften up where it could be removed. This stuff is very slippery. It's important to remove this because Someone can slip and hurt themselves on it. Here's a couple of angles of what it looked like. I probably could have waited a few more minutes before I started washing. But I was really excited to start and get going. But it quickly showed me that it wasn't ready to fully be removed. But as I continued, I started to see it was coming off. It just needed a couple of good passes over it. And I quickly realized this was going to be very time consuming to do the entire walkway and the driveway. So what you don't see here is I eventually stopped using this and turned on 12 volt system give it a little higher of a dose of sodium hypochlorite and the pump stopped working. I don't know what happened. It's a brand new pump. 
I'm sure it's user error, my fault. Um, I tested all the equipment before I got to the house. Water was pumping. It was pumping when we were hosing down the plants in the back of the house. But as soon as I turned the cam on and started to soft wash the concrete, the pump stopped pumping. So rather than trying to fix it on the spot, we just continued with this method, gave it an extra coating, left it on an extra five minutes, and it started to loosen up. Looking at this video now, I realized that I should do a better job protecting the front door of the property to make sure that water doesn't go inside the house. But things start to lift up and look bright and clean. The homeowner occasionally came out to check on us. I, I like when they come out at the very end so that it's a, a huge shock when they see how clean it comes out. Working. This is just a rinse tip to see what comes up without any high pressure. And in the end guys, this was good enough without damaging any of the surface. It did take us longer than it should have, but I was happy to be doing the job. I know that as time goes on, things will become more efficient, I'll get much better. Like the rain boots guys, I love these boots. I've managed to keep my feet entirely dry throughout the whole service and at the very end somehow I got water inside of my boot. There we go. Everything's coming up now. Now onto the driveway. Giving everything a good rinse. This part was a little bit easier as it had been sitting a little bit longer with the chemical solution on it. Nice and clean. Now we're just finishing up some of the stones that are not exactly visible from the walkway. But hopefully something like this will earn us a five star review. And that's it guys. Day one complete. Day one with a trailer, second job. Now reversing a trailer is a little bit tricky if you haven't done it for the first time it's going to take some practice you it's almost easier to look over your shoulder behind you out the window as you're reversing now, my driveway is pretty narrow so we got it as far as we can before pulling it in the rest of the way by hand thanks for watching guys